Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 2 Trial by Fire, the VGA remake. Well, we just got done exploring the desert for the first time, and we're now ready to start checking out some of the other merchants. We have delicious things for you to eat. Mouth-tempting falafels of fresh roasted lamb, dates stuffed with honey almonds to tease your tongue. Is a certainty that you will enjoy what we sell? Let's go ahead and greet... Greetings, Hero Spielberg. Welcome, Hero Spielberg. And ask their names. I am Scory. I am Slory. We are life mates. What you would call husband and wife. We have delicious things for you to eat. And same thing as before. Price. The price of the bread is 30 centimes. Saurus on a stick is 70 centimes. The price of the dates is 30 centimes. A falafel is 70 centimes. The price of the lizard jerky is 100 centimes. The bread is first fried in olive oil. The honey is poured upon it. It is only 30 centimes. The taste will sell itself. The sourest meat is first dipped in spicy paprika. Then it is quickly cooked over the brazier there. It is an experience found nowhere but in Shapir. It is something you will never forget. This will cost but 70 centimes. Surely but a small amount for such a treat. Our fresh dates are stuffed with the finest of almonds, stuffed carefully roasted over the brazier, then glazed in honey. We personally stuff the dates ourselves. We are very fastidious when working, and you will find no cat hairs in the dates. For two handfuls, you need only pay 30 centimes. You cannot find a better treat in all the bazaar. Falafel is feed bread stuffed with spicy roasted lamb, a hearty meal. You will find it most filling. The price is but 70 centimes for such a delicacy, but it is cheap at any price, and jerky. Our lizard jerky rations are very cheap, but delicious. They travel very well. Surely an venture gets hungry at times. You can get five meals for just 100 centimes. You will never be hungry again. The jerky is prepared with only the finest, most succulent, rock-flattened lizards. Our special blend of preserves let the rich-bodied lizard flavor f come through. Well, we can, in fact, buy the rations from them. Which is the only thing we need to, but... Since you speak so convincingly, then it will only cost you a mere 99 centimes. No, it is not right that such a speech rewards so little. It should be 43 centimes. 43 centimes. Do you merely should give away our food? 93 centimes. 88 centimes for such a hero. Very well. For you, we will make a special price. It will cost you 88 centimes instead of the normal price. Well, let's go with 85. Maybe much the better for it. May it please you well. So that now gives us. 29 rations. Well, just for the heck of it. Let's go ahead and get some bread. The bread is delicious. The dates taste very good. Let's go with 50. The falafels are quite tasty. And what the heck, one source on a stick. The source on a stick tastes wonderful. So, yeah, nothing but experience for that, but we did help support a local business. Pots for sale, earthenware pots and brightly colored glazes. I have the pot you have long sought. My name, may it please you, my name is Toshor. My pots are all made from clay, which is shaped and painted by hand. I'd be most pleased if you were to buy one. They are a very pretty one here for only 300 centimes. Clay is a special type of earth which I use to make pots. The price of the empty pot is 300 centimes. And yeah, we could buy an empty pot, but there's really not much point to it. So go ahead and say goodbye for now.
The ceiling reminds you of a night you spent in the land of Hot Iceberg many years ago. As a matter of fact, the whole place is like that. There seem to be books in many languages, few of which are comprehensible to you, but you do recognize some old favorites, such as Creative Accounting for Left Brain and Numolarix. The alcove contains censors and burning incense. The next game will be uncensored. The shelves are filled with unusual objects. You see what looks like a doggy dish for a fire elemental. Part of Rick's father-in-law just wouldn't fit in an urn. The apothecary shop is a flame of reds, yellows, and oranges, and smoky incense fills the air. The druggist is busy creating pills and powders. The druggist seems to keep busy at his trade. How much does a Grecian earn? It is a brazier fully filled with flames. Ah, I did not notice you come in. This is the apothecary. One can buy many wondrous pills and oils. I'm Harik. If you need something, just let me know. Greet. Ah, good day. I'm busy as always making up a batch of pills. If you need something, just let me know. Well, ask him about Harik. I am Harik Atar, which means in your language, fire druggist. I was well named. Daily news. What is it you wish to know? Rumor. I've been told that the thief of a dragon are very useful for components, but I've never been fortunate enough to find any. Ah, Shapir. This city and land are the very heart of the world. That's about the end. The end, I think, is to a plaza to the south of here. The fountain is the source of water for the city. This is the apothecary. One can buy many pills. I am Harik. If you need something, just let me know. Pills. I have the following pills for sale. Vigor pills for 500 centimes. Healing pills for 10 dinars. Poison cure pills for 12 dinars. Mana pills for 15 dinars. Take one pill of water and get plenty of rest. Vigor pills aid iron poor blood, restore vital minerals used up in strenuous exercise, and act as quick picker-uppers in times of stress. Healing pills accelerate the normal healing of the body. A hero such as yourself will undoubtedly need a large supply. Poison cure pills. The venom of the desert scorpion is deadly unless you take these pills before you are struck by its tail. Mana pills are very useful for those with magical abilities. They restore the magical energy used in spells. Pills tend to stick in your throat if you don't drink plenty of water. I sell oil for filling lamps and for quieting squeaky hinges. A small container costs 20 centimes. I have a reward notice there. I pay for pill components. I'm always in need of certain components for my work. If you are brave enough to bring me some of those components, I am more than willing to pay you for them. I am always in need of certain components for my work. Let's see, components. I am always out of a scorpion of them to make poison cure pills and ghoul claws for my experiments. I'll pay 20 dinars for the tail of a scorpion and 15 dinars for the claws of a ghoul. The sting of the scorpion's tail is death unless you take my poison cure pills. Unfortunately, even they will not help you if you are struck more than once. The ghoul is a creature of the night. The scrape of its claws chills the soul and draws the very life away from you. It takes a very agile adventure to avoid death's at hands. I am trying to develop a pill which will protect against the effects of the claws of the ghoul. I have not been able to get many claws, for many few ghouls are willing to give them to me, and few adventurers are willing to get them for me. Uh, her shop is west of us at the end of Dinar Tark. The Enchantress Aziz has a house along the west side of Shemel Tark. The desert is a wonderful source of components for my pills. When the old emir was overthrown, the apothecary of Razir was taken over by the new emir. If you plan to go to Razir, it may be wise to take some extra pills, just in case such things are no longer available there. That's actually some good advice, because... If you're playing this right, you should wind up with quite a bit of money before you go to Razir, and the best thing to spend it on is pills, because your pills will carry over into the next game. The new mirror, it has been said, uses drugs of the darkest nature, the ones which poison the mind and soul. Alright, well, enough of that. Go ahead and make a purchase, and first things first, we will need some oil. Harik gives you a burning glare. That is not for an offer I'm prepared to accept. I request that you pay 19 centimes. Well, we can talk him down to 17. Okay, 40 dinars for some healing pills. Uh, 
And we got to 115 communication with that bit of bargaining. So let's see, we're currently sitting at 106 golden dinars and 68 brass centimes. 15 healing and <clears throat> vigor. I could buy poison cure, but we are not going to need to risk going anywhere near scorpions as a thief. Unless we get very, very unlucky. And we have one purchase we need to make first. And I mean actually need, need to make. Living plants to bring the outdoors inside. Flowers alive to grow and thrive. Greetings, hero. Lashem, I am called. Sharing the living beauty of plants is my joy. I have flowering plants and green plants planted in specially prepared earthen and placed in pots from the potter across the way. All will brighten a room and freshen the air. The price of any small plant is 100 centimes. The earth of the plant is specially suited to other type of plant. If you wish, I will gladly give you some. Something to keep in mind if we need a bit of earth. But as you look the plants over, you realize you don't have the time or place to keep a potted plant. Well, we actually do have a place, but we don't really have the ability to care for it. And then up here we have... I have baskets of all colors, sizes, and shapes to contain whatever you wish. I will be most honored if the Hero of the North were to purchase one of my baskets. And greetings, Hero. I am Saba, and my husband, Tansman, and my three daughters help weave the baskets. My baskets are made from reeds brought from the east and hand-dyed and woven by myself and my family. They cost about 100 cent times each. Now, don't... It's cheap enough, but I don't really need a basket, and I don't think... I can put that in my room, so we will go ahead and... Whoop. Get to say goodbye to this one. I am Tashtari, which means Sunset Glow. Brass is the essence of all I sell. Lanterns and lamps, braziers and bottles, tea servers and cups. I have the goods of the finest workers of metal in the city. Brass is a mixture of copper and zinc, minerals most plentiful in this region. It is beautiful and long-lasting. It makes fine lamps, braziers and tea servers. My oil lamps will light the way through the darkness night. Surely a venturer such as yourself will have need for such a thing. For you, a fende will charge but 15 dinars. Braziers are mostly used for cooking or for apothecary work. You most likely will have no need of them. My tea servers are exquisitely wrought objects of elegance whenever you serve tea. Alas, I just sold my last bottle last week to a stranger named Haji. He said something about dreaming of a gene. Let's see, the price of the brass lamp is 15 dinars, the price of the bazaar is 20 dinars, the price of the tea server is 12 dinars. Well, we can in fact buy the lamp. Though it is far below the price I must pay for such an object, nevertheless I am out bargained, and you shall have it for mere 14 dinars. Let's say 12. May this lamp light your darkness. Because we are actually going to need the lamp at some point. And oh yes, I almost forgot to say goodbye. Which just leaves us in the central plaza of the magic shop. Nakar said, Aloha oi! Well, come on in! Gesundheit, Tippa Canoe, and how do you do? Pleased to meet you, and I mean to please you. Welcome to my little shop of wonders. Wonder what shop it is? Why, it's magic, of course. I'm Keep On Laughing, proprietor. You must be Noble Cause. Proud to know you, Mr. Cause. Shop here always hopes for heroes. It's sad, Dad, but if you need to climb the sublime, you need a rope, dope. I happen to have a magic rope for sale, direct from some of the best Hindu who did the best in the Hindu. Yep. 
This annoying gnome is keep on laughing. Thankfully, we do not have to deal with him much as a thief, but we do need to buy one important item that is necessary to get to the best ending of the game. You'll see what I mean when we get there. What's new, Blue? I tell you, Mel, my calm spell will help you quell that fellage. Well, try it. It's swell. Yeah, so much for that. So, ask about Keepon. Keepon Laughing is my name. Ask me again, I'll tell you the same. Daily News. If you choose to snooze, you lose, Zeus, so don't accuse of dulling your fuse from abuse. Just get with the news. Don't quote me, but Aziza has a waterbed and fills with fish. Shapir is a city, small and quaint and pretty. Shapir is a land, large, great, and grand. Flip clops to the magic shop to see the owner flip his flop. I sell spells, can't you tell? If you're inclined to climb, a magic rope can give you hope. To make it rise, close your eyes, raise your arms high, and watch it fly. If the time is right, you're in a plight, you can get it across if you give it a toss, Burma Shave. It's a good tool, fool, but remember the rule. The magic can't last, and on your last cast, it'll go fast. Don't waste it, or you're going to find yourself hanging in air with nothing there. We have a special on magical ropes this year. It usually costs 12, 120, yeah, 12,500 centimes. For a limited time only, though, it's only 125 dinars. So, do you want to scope a rope, Miss Anthrope? I'm a little on spells in stock, but I do have scrolls that detect magic for negligible 10 dinars, trigger for only 15, force pull for measly 20, levitate for mere 30, and Rasmus Razzle Dazzle for partly 25. Oh, those old things never could get them to work, but then again, I've never worn them. Yeah, there's a pair of very familiar-looking glasses. Magic, magic everywhere, find it in Aziz's lair. Magic, magic, wait a bit, find it in the soul of wit. Magic, magic in the stars, the astrologer can see that far. Magic, magic, where did it begin? Go and ask the mighty Jin. Magic, magic, where did it stop? Look around my magic shop. The cat is trail into the cat is tail in, he says cattily as it goes from the feline to the ridiculous. Perfect person, Sakata. Do not hurry, do not wait. The astrologer will tell your fate. He's not near, he is not far. He's at the end of Tariq of Stars. There was a money changer. Her name was Dinarzad. It's understood that she was very good and very, very bad. You can find her at the end of Dinar Tark, my lad. If you want to be witty, then search the city, the nitty gritty to the city. You need magic to find it, was designed by committee. Yeah, that's a hint that you need magic to find the Wizards Institute of Technocracy if you are a magician wanting to become a wizard. The Plaza of Fighters is west of here, Greer. You'll find the hall, Paul. Anyway. Razir, I fear, is very queer, and if you do not interfere, I think that it will disappear. It's Sandman. Hot Scott, dry guy. Anyway. We have that beard he was looking for. You uncurled some whirl from a dervish? Oh, frap, just stay. Hooray, hooray. Now here's the dinars I must pay. And we are going to have to bargain if we want the rope. Smooth talking, dude. You got the gift for gab. Tab. Tell you what, seeing is how you're a hero, and all, I'll reduce the price to 122 simoleons. Dinars, that is. No, Flo. Shapir Buccaneer. Okay, he finally stopped at 107, so we'll stop at 107. Now let me see where I last saw it. I'll have to look for it in the back room. I'll be back in a flash with the stash, Nash. Silly me, I had it here the whole time. Abracadabra and do make the thingy appear for you. Here you go, Joe. Hope you're happy, Pappy. And this is the one thing we really do need to buy as a thief. Everything else we can uh, get by without for the most part, except for a few items. 
But we can look at some of the items in here to get a few more laughs. It's a hand puppet that's either Cecil the C60 Serpent, Ollie the Dragon, or Zippy the Pinhead, depending on which way you squint. It's a hand puppet labeled Cookie Monster. How odd. It's a dragon hand puppet. It's a hand puppet bearing the name Rosella. That would, of course, be the princess from King's Quest IV. They're the buffoon's balloon, you goon. The top hats on the bottom are tops because he bought them. It's a green box for holding red pencils. These are wax and Icarus rings. The label monsters do not attempt to use these wings in hot climates. They are genuine handcrafted Spielbergian beer steins with Baron Stefan's crest. A lady once asked Keep On for liniment for her sister with which two rubber chickens, but he thought she said two rubber chickens. Oddly, she never paid for them or took them home. The label on the sleeve says Commando Cody Flying Suit. This place lies somewhere between Weird and Infinity, much more toward Weird. No, you're wrong, it's the USS Exit Prize. Keep On calls a self-motivating, horizontally situated windmill. Then again, it might be a giant. And you can read a few books here, too. Air is Human, Fear of Flying, Wind in the Bellows, Gnome with the Wind, The Pizza Elemental, Fact or Fiction, Air Conditioning and Grooming, H-I-J-K Elemental P, We're Here to Pump You Up, The Air Apparent, There's a Cloud, Ghost Riders in the Sky, and... Well, either they're eggplants or they're that new doll called Baby Antwerp, which, when turned on its back, promptly explodes. You have to agree there are quick clues and more rats on a stick, extremely useful somewhere. You don't want to know. The tag says, Ali Faker Genuine X-Ray Glasses, 15 dinars. Look incredibly large, but the tag also says, One Size Fits All Must Be Magic. Well, it sure looked real. The Michelin Man, the Staple of Marshall Man? No, it's the Pillsbury Doughboy, or the Doughberry Pills Boy. Nuns are often in the habit of wearing these with their habit. This was Kibon's biggest fan until things took a turn for the worse. Kibon grew tired of being blade for a fool. Don't watch this so much, it'll ruin your eyes. You can burn two pieces of toast at once with this baby. Now, if only somebody would electricity, and maybe an outlook and an extension cord. Aha! So the windbag's been pushing whoopee cushions. It's a flippin' flyer model L XLR8 Frisbee. You suddenly feel compelled to have a nice day. On this shelf are various examples of stuff, things, and mega salons. Talk about topsy-turvy. The sun shines up on the floor from the clouds above. So, yeah, this is all we need from Keep On for the rest of the game. Watch out, she's testy, though. So long, farewell, oh, we the same. Goodbye, see you real soon, if they cause I like you. Yeah, and we can use the magic rope to do various things, but it really isn't worth the trouble except for when we absolutely positively need it to do a quest, because the magic rope roll will run out, and then you'll need to buy a new one. And you really don't level your climb skill up all that much from practicing with it, so... Really not worth the trouble, but... That did give us a boost to our stealth and our communication. So with that done... Let's go ahead and... Visit Plaza of the Fighters East. Right, we can go ahead and greet the merchants here. Cloth of the finest of weaves and the loveliest of colors, clothes to entice the touch, veils to reveal and conceal all this I have and more. You can attest to how comfortable and comforting my wares are, for you wear them well. And a moonwalking kata, apparently. Greetings, hero. I am Karim. I have clothes of all sizes and styles, cloth of the finest dyes. This is made of cloth and I carry it to my stand. Plus, I can sell you a cloth bag to carry extra equipment. The bags I have are woven so fine that they can be used to carry the sand and plaster used to repair the city walls, yet strong enough that they will not break under so much weight. They cost but 50 cent times. Tempting, but I'm already running a little low on cash.
The finest in lever work will I sell to you here from a distant land. My lever is noted the world over for its beauty and durability. Go ahead and greet. I am Irak. The belts and boots I make are made from dyed Sora skin. The very ones you wear came from my stand. I sell many of our items made from lever, but the one thing that I sell that every adventurer needs most in this land is a water skin. A belts and boots. The belts and boots are cut and shaped for the customer. It'll take a few days to create. The water skin will hold enough journey for water for a day's journey in the desert. It can be refilled in the fountain. It is often the only thing between a traveler and certain death when one explores around the city. It will cost you but a hundred cent times. The price of the boots is 500 cent times. The price of the belt is 300 cent times. The price of the water skin is 100 cent times. Well, we can buy an extra water skin. And it is, in fact, a good idea that we do so. But we'll do that later. Because we are a bit short on cash at the moment, but that will not be a problem shortly. For unless I am much mistaken... I challenge you to a wager of skill versus skill. Who will dare to follow where I lead across the narrow path of rope? Who will get risk a dinar in his very life that he may gain five dinars in return? Oh, you know where this is going. Greetings, hero. Do you feel brave and lucky today? Nobody else seems around us here seems willing to take my challenge. Let's go ahead and challenge. You stranger from this land, are you brave and skilled enough to cross this rope? Will you wager with me? I am called Agi the Agile. If you can but walk from one end to the other, I will give you five dinars. You only have to give me one dinar, and if you manage to cross the rope from one end to the other, you will gain five dinars more. I make a living by challenging others. I have not been back there since the Emir Aris was overthrown. Near terrorists and wagering have been forbidden there. The Emir Aris used to watch as I performed in Razir and throw me coins. He was always laughing. It's a shame he is gone now. That's the place best avoided. This is a perfect place to improve your chances at your skills at climbing and balancing. Well, not so much the climbing. Thieves Guild. I do not know about such things, but I have heard rumors that the money changer has some connections. Narazard. I've heard that she is not above working with thieves. The Guild Hall is a good place for me to be working, for many pass by. There are too many people and things in that plaza for me to get set up there. There have been rumors about ill omens around the city. Yeah, it won't get much out of him, but we can make a bet. And I think I'm agile enough at this point. I might actually be able to do this on the first try, but we'll see. Yeah, unfortunately, this is one of those tests that it is very easy to fail. And the trick is to actually keep going as fast as possible, because if you diver, you risk losing your balance. But this is also a great way to boost your agility. You collect your five dinars. You cannot get off so easily. Let's test the rope again that I may regain my lost dinars. Thank you. 
You almost made it. It was mere bad luck you did not cross that time. And each time you fall does knock some of your health off. And I got 55 honor from this somehow, but my agility is now up at 145. And uh, you can keep doing this until eventually you win enough times he refuses to lose any more money to you. And I think I will go ahead and play around with that off camera. And next time we will continue exploring Shapir on day two. See you then.